Oh, it's so pretty! Welcome back to Pitch Black Dungeon, everybody. It's the latest build, uh, the latest update for Darkest Dungeon, actually. It forced PBD to uh, get an updated build itself. Uh, looks like they took some liberties with it and given us a little bit of a festive winter wonderland here in the estate, which is really nice. I could use the morale boost. Sanitarium, we're looking at Fulgaris and Bullbeg getting rid of some diseases here. I don't think anybody's actually committed to stress relief because we have this. Reducing 25 stress on idle heroes this week. Really, really nice town event, so I'm going to try to take advantage of that. I grabbed a man-at-arms from the stagecoach as well, so I've got these level 0... or the, the level 2, level 1, level 0 crew that I may end up bringing out. This is a really weird lineup, but it probably could work for something, so we may uh, level those guys up eventually. For now, we're doing something much more difficult. We're going to the Weald. It's a long veteran dungeon. It's explore 90%, so luckily it's not as difficult as it could be, but it is still going to be quite the challenge. I'm probably going to over-provision like crazy for this one. More food, more torches, all the shit that I can get to make it a little easier on myself. We got a few options this week, but I'm gonna take some big gambles here, especially considering we're not bringing an exclusive healer in this party. We've got the Houndmaster that can heal himself, Stress healing on the Jester, obviously, and then a little bit of healing with the Battlefield Medicine, which should cure us, of course, of any ailments that would cause a lot of long-term damage, but it is still really concerning to not have anybody that can give us a big boost of health when we need it. So I am going to, uh... I'm going to die, <laughs> is what I'm saying. And the long, long and short of it is really, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna blow up and explode and everything's gonna be terrible, but I'm gonna try to make it work. Let's run down the, uh, let's run down the party here, yeah. Highwayman using the double sheath combo, dodging and sharpening to get some extra crit chance and speed and dodge. Uh, doing big damage here up front. The Houndmaster, though, going to be hitting the hardest with the four leaf clover and the focus ring. I was actually a little worried about losing these trinkets. Apparently some folks have had some issues with the uh, custom made pitch black dungeon trinkets being lost after updates. I got a little lucky there, I guess. We got our Houndmaster, though, dealing big damage with the Hound's Rush. Coupled with the focus ring, the four leaf clover, hopefully going to be uh, hitting some crits. Every now and then here as well, along with the Jester's Battle Ballad buff for it. He's got himself Lucky Dice and the Bright Tambourine, improving that stress healing. And, uh, yeah, the Harvest is really our only corpse clear. I consider it less of a priority in the wheel than it is in the ruins, but it is still kind of important. We also have some disease that I'm going to be hoping to get rid of here, too, although I am trying to take advantage of rabies while we've got it. And now our Plague Doctor with the Macer's Hat and the Ancestor's Map. It is going to be an interesting member of this team, primarily designated as our removal of Blight Companion, but the stuns and the blo or the uh, plague obviously are going to be pretty beneficial as well in some circumstances. I might consider giving her Disorienting Blast. Just because I'm pretty damn sure I'm not going to get a lot of value out of the Noxious Blast. Let me go see what level 3 of that does actually. It might end up being beneficial to me. Guild, here is... this is a debuff. Minus dodge and accuracy. I don't hate that. That's more stun chance, too. We'll take it. Cool, okay. A little last minute change there. I like that a little bit better, though, because there's it's very unlikely that we'll have targets that are good for the Noxious Blast in the wield, so... That works for me. Alright, this team is, uh... It's strong. But it is scary. What is this? A lump of coal. Tentacles roasting on an open fire. What the fuck is that? What is that? That's, that's kind of worrying me. I am uncertain and afraid. I don't need four keys. It's probably a little bit of overkill. Let's only do like two maybe, and then we'll go for like a full stack of shovels here because this is a long dungeon after all. Speaking of which, I'm going to get like 20 torches. I'm going to go really overkill there, and then we will, we'll bring some extra goodies here too. I'm thinking probably all the anti-venom I can get. Maybe one bandage, and then I'm going to grab a few small daggers. Let's make it five. Fuck it. And a few of these too. We end up needing these quite a bit in the wheel, actually. I, I did say I was going to over-provision, so let's... Let's make good on that promise. And I'm okay with these provisions. This is... Spending a ton of cash, but... If we get only the quest reward for this, that more than makes up for the cost of entry. And I'm pretty damn sure we're going to end up looting pretty well. Really hoping for scouts, too, obviously. Look at this! The entire wheel is winterified! It's fantastic! That makes me really happy. Okay. Let's start off on the easy trail. And we'll, uh, we'll close it out with the big fights if we have to. I'm gonna be looking to go the, uh, the smoothest route possible. I love all this festive stuff, man. This is great. 
they made some small changes to the UI here as well. You probably noticed it yourself, but the... Just the, the formation of the buttons in the menus is a little different here, and I kind of like it. Getting used to it, acclimated to it really quickly, and I, I am a fan of the changes. These are some long-ass hallways, man. I can't forget about that, and I'm wondering how often I really should be popping my torches here. I've got the extras, of course, so I am a little better off there. Are often low on supplies. I had such a strong feeling I was just going to end up dumping off that bandage as soon as I got something, so... Really glad I could follow through with that early on. Where's our campfire? That's the lump of coal, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I'm figuring it out. Little by little bit. Man, that freaked me out for like half a second. I was thinking, okay, well, they took away campfires from long dungeons. That seems like a little bit of a nerf. Indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder... A glint of gold. Luckily not the case though. Okay, so we get to disarm the trap very nice. Obviously our, uh... This blue hue is very interesting in the winter wield. I like it. But, uh, obviously... We need to be concerned about this. The darkness is going to be uh, a little bit more difficult to deal with, but our torches are in short supply still. I will go ahead and bring this up to like, yeah, 94 is probably good for now. Let me go, uh... Again, a little bit safer to start off with. I don't want to immediately feel like I'm gonna die. Oh, god damn it. Okay. I really should have anticipated that this was gonna be an issue early on, and I gotta prioritize the one that's worth more money, I guess. Maybe I should consider camping out early on just to get some buffs going. That's not an unheard of strategy. Ooh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna take a chance on you. Very nice. Even though he's going to reduce his own stress, obviously, I'd like to get it on as early as possible. If you know what I mean. I always like to get it on as early as possible. 5 a.m. wake-up calls for banging. That's my cup of tea. Towering ectoplasm and a couple of no-goodniks in the back line. Let's see here. 95%. I could actually stun this. Let's have a look at what our other options are, though. So if I hit the Nasher for full damage, that would be enough to kill. It's also a pull forward, which is interesting. I'm not going to be able to bleed this one. Eradicated. I like that a little better. Okay, very nice. Not going to be stunning any of them, and as I suspected, the Blight is not really likely to hit here. So Disorienting Blast makes a little bit of sense, I guess. Attempt to stun on the backline one. Nothing doing. God damn. Okay. Probably not going to bleed these guys either, so I actually really like the Seatful shot here. He's going to get hit a couple times, I imagine. I may guard dog him, uh, allowing the Houndmaster to uh, soak up the damage, if at all possible. Dirk Stab, not really good. I'll take this. Hopefully get us the speed necessary to act first next turn. He's going to self-heal himself quite a bit. I'm unfortunately sacrificing the majority of our damage every time I do that, though. I gotta be worried about that. Let's... Ooh, he has his repost active on Guard Dog as well. I totally forgot. So I'm not really giving up a lot of damage, actually. In fact, I should be doing that a hell of a lot more. That's a lot better than I thought it was. Alright, let's see. So sh since she's really not that effective doing that attempt at a stun every time, I'm pretty damn sure I just want to allow her to, uh... Go for the battlefield medicine every opportunity she gets. Okay. It's going to bring back this guy. Luckily, not too big of a deal. Go ahead and hit that again. And I don't have to heal now that I've got a couple of heals off on him myself with the, uh, with the Plague Doctor. So that works out fairly well, I guess. A couple of rounds of buff. Let's go for... We don't have our repost activated, but he's not getting hit by anything, of course. So let's attempt to start taking this guy down. I might have to mark the target, although I don't have that option, unfortunately. Hmm. Guess I'm okay with this. Oh, man. This is an issue. I think I need to kill the big guy first. These slime fights are really going to be a, a big problem, aren't they? Oh, boy. I'm not going to be blighting anything here, so... God, what do I want to do? What do I even want to attempt? Do I try the stun? No, it's a very small chance of landing. I guess she just needs to heal every time, which is really silly. This is not the fight I was hoping for, clearly. I think I need to, uh... I think I need to do this. I'm gonna guard dog again to hopefully get some return damage, and I'm... 
I guess I'm... Well, no, hold on. This might be helpful. Harvest would clear the corpse. This advantage. Give them no quarter. Obviously not going to bleed, but it is a little bit of damage here. And then I am going to go ahead and do this one more time, actually. It's pretty goddamn useful, and I hopefully get to at least have a couple of reposts from it. Luckily dodging those, but it is still just resummoning shit. Ah, oh, those are the wrong targets, too. God damn. This is not going well. I really need to kill the big guy. I guess the shuffle is fine. Uh, I'm relying a lot on damage over time, I'm realizing now. That is kind of like... A staple of my build at the moment. Dirk Stab is okay, I guess. I don't have any move forward with the Houndmaster, unfortunately, so if I end up using Dirk Stab, that's gonna move him to the third spot almost permanently. God damn, we are getting hit hard now, too. This is just a disaster. This is like the worst first fight I could have seen. Harvest does not work as well. Executed. I'm desperately hoping that after I manage to kill this guy, they're not going to just bring back another big slime. Oh boy, uh... I guess we need to heal again. Everything's going horribly wrong. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Please do not bring back a big guy. Okay. Okay, that means I don't have to clear the corpse anymore, but... Obviously, we're still in a world of hurt here. I'd love to heal him, but I think I need his damage. Actually, you know what? That's a lot better for me. And I obviously can't afford to stall this at all. I'm gonna do that and then harvest to clear the corpse, ideally. Little bits of healing every now and then. Oh, he can't harvest, of course, but... I'll prevent the damage, I guess. The enemy this is awful, man. This is so awful. This is everything I was hoping would not happen. Jesus Christ, and the cytokinesis again. We've got four goddamn ectoplasms to deal with. Mother of God. Uh. Hmm. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. I can't even clear the corpses right now, man. I can do the disorienting blast, I guess. That gives up the heal. Gotta try to stun one. Let's do that. They're actually just resisting everything. This is madness. Um. There we go. Alright, the corpses are gone, but they're probably still just gonna cytokinesis. This is round eight, man. God damn it. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Added on the stress to okay, well, hopefully we can actually fucking kill this guy. This went horribly wrong. I'm gonna have to camp out. Please don't act first. I'm taking a big gamble doing this. Please, thank you. Let me kill him. Thank you. Oh my god. Ah! Oh. Hell, absolute hell. No more slimes, please. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Got to do this. Holy shit, man. Okay. Well, let's get rid of some disease to start off with. I know I need to do that. And I I think it's going to be the rabies. No, you know what? It's going to be fearful, fearful hyperventilation because I've balanced the rabies out enough to where I feel I'm actually benefiting from it. So I'm gonna keep rolling with that for now. I will use the Hound's Watch. Prevent our ambush here, get us a little bit of a uh, buff of sorts. Unparalleled Finesse is really nice. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take that as well. The Scouting Chance could be quite good too though. But the Unparalleled Finesse is just way too nice to pass up, I think. So we'll take that. And I don't really need anything else. I guess I could do an Encourage. That's fine. Alright, cool. The match is I really should have done Wound Care. A blazing star is born. Wound Care is actually a lot more valuable to us right now. Uh, okay. There's that. That's not bad. Uh-huh. 
Now it must be carried home. So I guess we'll just use the food here because I kind of wanted to heal more anyway. And there's some portraits. Cool. Okay, let's avoid everything for the future. One fight really did us in, so I'd really like to avoid anything else if at all possible. This is fine. This is totally acceptable. I can deal with these guys. Of course they fucking transform into a slime, though. Immediately get rid of this guy. Immediately. Harvest is not going to be enough, so I think I'm actually going to Dirk Stab. Although, a Battle Ballad is really, really nice. Just don't let him turn into anything else. That's all I want. Thank you. Destroy them all. And I can actually utilize Plague Grenade here, shockingly. That means 10 more damage here does the job. Bump in the night means I am healing for sure. Lick Wounds makes a lot of sense. Oh, he's double acting. Okay, he's dead next turn then. That's good. <laughs> Another Bump of the Night. All right, well. I guess that'll do. He's dead. I'm going to heal. And I just need one shot on the Conscript, probably. Let's do... Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and hold off. I want my Houndmaster's heal really bad, and I'll probably just Corpse Clear with the Jester right now. Gotta do that. And then we'll hit him with this. That was... Uh, no, that cor Okay, that... That was dumb, apart from the fact that it's a Corpse Clear. So that makes it okay. That makes it an acceptable move. And now I just have to do this, I guess. Oh, this is weaker, but killed him anyway. Shit. 85 gold. Okay. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Small dagger for the spider webs. Hell yeah. Gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. All right, still plenty of torches, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that light up. This is an empty room, right? Yes. Good scouts, too. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, this room is hell, but I do have to go this way. I do not like that corridor, man. Battle, battle, battle. That is scary. I don't have enough space to justify the secret room yet, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Let's, uh... Let's see. I gotta use the key in there, obviously. The herbs... may be the least valuable, and I really want to get more deeds, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm totally happy with the amount of, uh... heirlooms we've gotten so far. Hmm. Inspirational Tenacious Crone. He's gonna deal a lot of damage if I don't attempt to negate it. So let's try... Try a little bit of control, I guess, here. Harvest is really nice. This guy is vulnerable to bleed. Then an open vein? Oh, not quite there, but... Get the Wicked Stab. And now I think I may want to try to finish her off. Play Grenade would do it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to leave her alive. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Okay, so it is certainly in my best interest to take a self-heal on the Highwayman, or not the Highwayman, the Howlmaster here. I'm extremely nervous about what he's going to do, though. But sadly, the stun resistance is way too high, so I think I'm just going to exchange Blackjack and Lick Wounds on my Houndmaster for now, and really just kind of desperately pray that we're able to avoid big damage from the Tree Branch Smackdown or anything of the like. Disorienting is not going to help us out, so we'll just heal what little bit I can, and let's just see what happens, I guess. That's good. That's ideal, actually. That is more than ideal. That is absurdly good. <laughs> it's like completely optimal. I'll duel this advance to put him in a position to use Hound's Rush next turn. He could also self-heal again, but I'll probably just do this. And she's taking care of him fairly well, so I may just Hound's Rush next turn now. And I can Dirk Stab to put her back in the back, which is fine by me. Although Battle Ballad might be useful. I'm getting the crit chance from this, and that is extremely nice. Plus the extra damage, of course. I may be able to take him out next turn, actually. Let's see it. Open Vein plus a stack of bleed on the uh, Hound's Rush. We get this for 16. Up to 14 now. We need a big hit from here. Uh, it's probably not going to be enough, but I'll take this anyway. And then I suppose we'll just attempt this, even though it's almost guaranteed not to work. But 
This does reduce his accuracy, so maybe that'll be enough. Loss of five on the round. Let's see. Okay, hit for 14. That... That is not too bad, actually. I can make that work. We may try to stall this for two more heals. I think I'll reduce the stress as well while I've got the opportunity for it. Two heals would be four health. Probably worth it, in my opinion. Oh, he's already dead, though. Alright, we'll just take the one heal then if we get it. Yep. Nice! Brilliant! Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Fantastic. Alright. 625 gold out of that, too. And... Let's have a look here. Let's see. I would like to... You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to go this way. Cut through here. Shovel. Treasure. I think we'll go through these rooms and then duck back around over here to get the secret room at the end. That's my play. A ghoul? Not a ghoul! A powerful blow. Hell yes. Okay, basically the same approach here, I think. I'm gonna wicked stab her again. 14 damage. That's gonna be, uh... Probably enough, actually, if I'm able to get this play grenade for a good amount. The Dirk stab to follow up makes the most sense, although Harvest probably is going to do the job, actually. Eight damage, that'll do. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. That's fucking brilliant, actually. That's a great start. 40% protection means he is not going to go down easy, but I do have a lot of bleed still here. And I think I'm willing to go ahead and allow him to use his move. Alright, so we'll self-heal for sure. Battlefield Medicine actually makes a lot more sense, too. That plus Harvest, plus one more Hound's Rush may be enough to seal the deal on this guy. I think I'll go for it. Big old stacks of bleed. Very nice. Absolutely got to do this. It's a big bleed, man. I really don't want to let that around or uh, let that hang around if I don't have to. Sadly, he's got that big stress damage received debuff as well. I don't have any herbs, unfortunately, to take care of that. Harvest for another stack, or do I do the, do the Dirk stab to maybe uh, make it likelier that he just goes down? Pretty sure I'll have the opportunity to open Vein first. Is that enough? I think that's enough. Brilliant, okay. I should have healed the Highwayman, actually, because this guy can self-heal himself, obviously. Good shit. Stone skin? I will give that to you. Reduce the speed. Big protection buff. Not bad. I'm going to leave that be. No idea what to use on that. Alright, we got a room battle coming up, obviously. I'm going to keep this torch light up for that one. Up to about 99. That does give us another inventory slot as well. Okay. There's a quick spitter in the back. Harvest is still really good. Big bleed there. And uh, let's... Okay, here he comes. Highwayman is in a bad position here. I'm going to pop this just in case they stack. Try to get the kill here. There we go. Really need to help him out, actually. I'm going to go for a couple of heals early on. Maybe they had guard from the Houndmaster. That will activate the repost, and that might be useful here. Resisted the bleed, or the blight, rather. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Attempt a couple more Highwayman heals, and then probably self-heal with the uh, Houndmaster as well. I think the Jester's actually going to be able to deal enough damage to... Uh, to take care of these guys, especially with the Dirk stab. Oh my god, and this repose damage is certainly helping us out too. Nice! Decimated. Very good, okay, we'll take that. Not too shabby. I'm gonna self heal again for sure. He is nearly gone. Oh boy, that sucks, okay. Uh, I'm going to go for the speed buff and hopefully be able to move the Plague Doctor first. I'm going to self-heal him, obviously. I really want to use an anti-venom, but I'm going to hold off for now. I'm going to hope that the Plague Doctor gets first action. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm going to, I'm going to stall. There we go. I think it's worth it, because I might be able to self-heal again, too. I have zero stress. Do I really want to let him take his action? For a heal, he might hit the Houndmaster, or the Highwayman, rather. I keep mixing those up. There we go. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Lost the accuracy, got a whole bunch of buffs, though. Let's see what that actually is in a second. Just trying to tell me that's there, okay. 
Let's hit it. I think we're ready to move forward. More torches, always welcome. Very nice. This is going pretty well. I had a scary start. My health is a little alarming. But I feel okay. As long as I'm intelligently approaching the remainder of our battles here, I'm feeling pretty confident. Still got a long ways to go, though, obviously. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. And there goes our first stack of torches. I'll go ahead and keep that up to a hundred or so. Ah, uh, shovels are looking good too. Let's let's see. I'm gonna use a small dagger here, obviously, to hang onto our key. This looks like a really good dog treat opportunity, actually. And tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and use that with guard dog. That's gonna boost our damage from the repost, ideally. And now the highwayman really needs to just stay out of harm's way. Harvest is really good. Stacking up some bleeds early on here could be quite nice. I'd like to kill that guy early if I could. Blinding gas is really nice too, though. So we'll bl probably play grenade next turn. Oh, he resisted that stun. That sucks. Deceitful shot makes no sense. Can't reach him, unfortunately. Minimal damage. Alright, so we'll Wicked Slice, I think, to get the kill next turn, although a Harvest might be enough still. Good shit, oh my god, look at that return damage. Play Grenade! Oh, Play Grenade's gonna do it. Oh, but wait. Wait, we gotta heal him, damn it. Okay, we can't do Play Grenade, I am gonna do that. Is that enough? Six per turn, he's done. Beautiful, okay, gotta do something here, let's... I did say I gotta help out the Highwayman, so let's do it. Still got it for a turn. I will stack this. Might end up leaving him to last, which would be really weird. Actually, in fact, I don't really want to do that. Lead, please. Thank you. All right, they're both dead. Her death by inches. And I think I'll try to stun you next turn. It's not the most likely thing to happen, but I'll attempt it. Oh, Grievous fuck. Injury. Palpable fear. All right, clearly doing battlefield medicine next turn. Hopefully she doesn't uh, take a bunch of damage right away. Go for that. I still want to self-heal him, too. Open Vein's obviously going to stack up a bunch. This is really gnarly for our Plague Doctor. She's going to be needing some help here. I think I'll actually stress heal. This is a good opportunity to do it. Not bad, not bad. 16 per shot. That's crazy. Another big hit with the bleed. That's enough to actually kill him by itself. Fantastic. Okay, let's get as many heals as we can here. Now Master's looking good, no stress for him. Stress heal in the Plague Doctor, She'll, she might be able to get that extra two or three. Let's see it. Ah, uh, okay, that's fine. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Guess I could have done Deceitful Shot to give us an extra chance at it, but not a big deal. Pop this. Very nice. For a task well performed. I love this scout too, that's extremely valuable. All right, tell you what, I can probably get away with going over here. Then maybe even down one more, but I really should camp out to help out our Plague Doctor. I can only, You know what, I should just give her food. That's okay, she's gonna be fine. I need to heal her up a little bit, but... I think we'll survive. We're gonna keep that torchlight really high up, too. So go to here. I almost want to hit up this room, but I think I'm gonna be better off going uh, down this way. Wow, two secret rooms. Holy shit, dude. Okay. That's good. I'm gonna hit this up, go down this way, come up here, and then just go around like that. Maybe you have to double back down to finish it off. The secret rooms obviously are going to be uh, adding to our tally for ex exploration as well. Not only good for the value of the gold, but really helping us out there, actually. So very little chance at a ble or a blight on basically anything that we see here, and they have a lot of damage potential too, so this is a really scary fight. I am pretty happy with attempting to stun this guy to begin with. Oh, he has so much health. He resisted that. Oh boy, we are in for a world of hurt here. Okay, blinding gas is pretty damn good. I have really got to get rid of this guy. He's a huge threat. They're pretty vulnerable to bleed. Nice crit. 
I gotta hit him with something, though, man. This is rough. I don't want to mark him, so I'm not gonna go for the deceitful shot. This bleed chance is pretty good. This guy is just, he's gotta go. He's gotta go first. And I'm not gonna be able to stun these guys again, so I'm not really 100% sure what I'm gonna attempt to do with the uh, Plague Doctor next turn. Really glad he dodged that. All right, not too bad. I've got to go for Guard Dog from the Houndmaster, unfortunately, because he is way too weak to allow to just take this damage right now. Let's see. Stun attempt? Disorienting Blast on you? Doesn't really make a lot of sense. I can't target him with it. Sadly, despite the fact that that only heals for two, it's the best option I've got. Open Vein. Yes. Harvest, I really hope, ex actually uh, ends up working really well here. Very happy with Guard Dog in this spot. Harvest, I'm holding out hope for. God, that sucks! Rabies on the Plague Doctor, but she does have the leeches to get rid of that later on. Is it enough? I don't think so. It is! Nice! Very, very good. That is like a wasted turn on their end, too. All right, he's up to the front. I can start harvesting these guys, and the battery's actually pretty weak already. There's the Hounds Rush hit again. The Blight, unfortunate, but manageable. I'll probably go ahead and Battlefield Medicine the uh, Highwayman again. Let's stun you, Shapeshifter, going into a grabber. I'd like to uh, avoid allowing to do anything, probably. And then we'll harvest with the Jester. Good stun. Got to do this. Plague Doctor is in a bad position. There we go. Okay, the battery's dead. Start a, or, uh, start a stack of bleed on this guy. I'm going to let him shapeshift. I'm going to try to take out the other grabber here. Or the battery, rather. Probably going to target this one. Yep. Don't stack, please. It did. I'm going to have to anti-venom this. I really want to heal up the uh, Plague Doctor herself. What is this stacked up to? Seven? I think I can do this. She's got a... Oh, you know, I really should have done that on the highway, man. But she's she needs some help pretty bad here. This is a big issue, isn't it? I really got to kill this guy. Him being alone, I suppose, is not as bad, but... I don't know. This is not looking that great. He might be in. He might be in trouble. Please miss. Oh, that's okay. I mean, that hurt a lot, but he, he can heal himself at least. So we've got that. I'll probably be able to kill him with just a Dirk stab and the uh, the hit from my Highwayman here. I still didn't get rid of that. I really should have. I'm still not using the anti venom either. I'm not sure what my play is there, but fuck it. Impressive. There we go. I'll probably end up camping with wound care here or something. Be wary. Triumphant pride yeah. precipitates a dizzying fall. Yeah, that makes sense. I need the health. I'm reluctant to feast weirdly, but I'm pretty damn sure I needed to do that. All right. Pretty much the same play. I'm going to get rid of the rabies on her and let's just get rid of it on everybody, I guess. We've had our fun with that. Oh wait, no, she doesn't have to do that actually, so let's just do the cure. Get rid of her own rabies only costs one, and then I think maybe unparalleled finesse again? That's been helping us out quite a bit. Coupled with every rose has its thorn, or we could get rid of rabies. Oh, wound care, uh, yeah, no, I gotta do that. I gotta do that, I gotta help him out a little. All right, cool, pretty good. Pretty good. In radiance, may we find victory. Hell yes. Wield adventurer. Nice. Okay, let's see. I don't hate this actually. Oh wait, no, I, I am already down this way. Okay. So we're gonna hit this up. See what hallway battle lies in wait. Not but a skeleton. And more spiders. How many uh, torches we got? We got six. Okay, I'm gonna hold off on using the torchlight again here. 
Overgrown spitter goes down. Ah, uh, resisted the bleed. Okay, we gotta harvest that, obviously. Uh, let's just... Ooh, shit. That's not a good start. You're dodging a hell of a lot. Okay. Uh, maybe stun one? Let's see it. There we go. Just the web to deal with. I'm gonna go ahead and battlefield medicine after that, too. I really should have just been healing her from the start. I gotta pay attention to that, man. It's only eight health she's missing, but that can be a big difference maker. I don't even want to self-heal him, but... Oh, God. All right, never mind. Everything's fine. He's fucking freaking out right there. Uh, it's probably going to be disease. You know what? I don't even want to take a chance. I got my Plague Doctor, I guess. I could have given it a shot, but... Let's play a little safe, shall we? we only got a little ways to go here. Like five or six rooms, you know, just a tiny bit. Easy? Easy? Nice! No problem with this. Oh, god damn it! come on, I've got some small daggers here for you, bud. I haven't used a single caustic solution, I really should look for an opportunity to do that. Actually, I'm pretty damn sure I should have done that on the, uh... Secrets and wonders Wait, what was that? That was, uh... In the most tenebrous corners of this place. We ran into a bone effigy, no, that's right, so that probably wouldn't have worked on that. Might have been worth a shot, though. Alright, I'm gonna head up back this way, and then we'll probably have to go down through here. But, obviously, we want to, uh... Ooh, nice. Oh, that still doesn't work? What? What about a small dagger, I wonder? No? Uh, then ignore it. No, we got the Plague Doctor. There's some disease. Free disease! Ah, it's a negative quirk. Ah, shit. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. It's all good. I think I may be close to being in the clear here, actually. I'm gonna let this torchlight stay down. Although, that is a little bit of a risk I run going into this hallway, but luckily it worked out. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Hitting the secret rooms up, I've got that one key. I really don't have a lot of space. In the inventory, sadly. But it shouldn't really be a problem, I don't expect. Now we have a small dagger for this. Very nice, very nice. I'll take it. Now we hit this up. Hell yeah. Adding on to our tally again. Woo, that is a good find. Okay. 2,000 gold in the secret room. Weirdly, uh, an encouraging result here in PBD. An old but sturdy lock picked by that. beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Really not looting too heavily out of this place, but... In a pretty standard hall, at least. Let's see, I've left three rooms unexplored. No, five, actually. Okay, so there's quite a few left over that I haven't, uh... Have not bothered with. I also only got two shovels left, unfortunately, so hopefully this stuff isn't too bad. I think, though, if I go down through here and hit up all these, I should be able to clear the dungeon that way. Oh, come on, I had a caustic solution for that! Give me an opportunity at least. All right, well, we obviously need to get rid of immunosuppression. That's terrible. No effect on the small dagger. Okay, well, sadly, really not the uh, result I'm looking for with the secret rooms there. But, again, exploration. A little bit of extra money. Why not? Okay. No scout. Going into the dark here. In fact, with that being the case, let's just go ahead and use these. The light. The promise of safety. Ah, okay, I'm kind of glad I did. This could be a pretty gnarly fight all in the darkness here. Loot shifting ghoul. Light pocketed. The hell does that mean? I have no idea. Let's bleed him? Probably a good idea to start off with. Harvest is not as good though, unfortunately. So I'm going to go for the battle ballad here. And then we'll go ahead and pop a dog treat as well. Get some big hounds rush damage off on the ghoul. I could stun him, but I like this a little better actually. Bleed? Nice. And then play grenade, maybe. Sure. Whatever we can do. These guys resisting, unfortunately. This guy is probably going to go down next round. Six stress damage from the howl. Exposed to a killing blow. Stun is likely off that, unfortunately. There it is. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and stress heal here. Resisted the damage very good, but that is two stuns on our party. That's kind of shitty. 
Open vein may be enough damage to finish him off. I want to get rid of most of that. Battle battle stack might have been nice, but I think I'm going to have enough damage from him to take care of this. Oh, don't stun him, though. Come on. Nice dodge. There it is. I need... How much do I need? More than I can do. Never mind. I got it. I got it. We're good. He's dead. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Hooray! Hell yeah. Still getting the dodges, too. Okay. Now, I like the stun quite a bit. I think I'll go for the, uh... I'm gonna go for the kill on this guy, actually. I don't think I need to stack up anything else. I'll go for that, plus the Wicked Slice. Plus, I suppose... Nothing. So never mind, I'm not gonna get the kill at all. Go for a Disorienting Blast, actually. Well, no, you know what, we'll take a little bit of healing here. Mentioned it before, I really need to stay on top of that when I can. Can stun this guy, though, if I want to take the opportunity on that. Wicked Slice... Eh, it's just... Take him out. Take him out! Can I kill this guy? Hounds Rush? Let's do it. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Alrighty. Slow but steady wins the race. And we are out of torches, boys. One more dog treat for the... For this one, yep. Perfectly fitting, okay. Hardened Fungal Battery is going to be a little more difficult to deal with. Let's start off, get some Harvest Damage off with the uh, Jester here, hopefully take out the Crone a little bit quicker. Dog Treat for the Hound's Rush is good. And then I almost want to play Grenade this, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. Deceitful Shot actually, yeah, that's going to help out enough to get the kill, isn't it? Nice. Okay, and then let's go for this. Disorienting Blast. A little bit of a stun chance, actually did manage to land it. She is done. Just the giant now. Fine by me. Oh my god, it did it again. That's fucking fantastic. Okay, I'm just gonna... Well, you know what? Oh, he's thick-headed. Shit. That was stupid. I could have had the guard activated there. That's really unfortunate. Okay. Uh, hardened Fungal Battery. Probably need to kill that first, and it is vulnerable to bleed. I'm not gonna blight any of these guys. God damn it, she's still just not really that good here. I think I am going to Dirk Stab to get her back to the back line and then harvest again if I can. Well struck. Excellent. Very helpful, that. Complete waste of a turn from the battery, although the giant is likely to target him now, isn't he? Oh, okay. Unnerved. Unbalanced. Oh, okay. Ow. That really hurt. Um. Hopefully I get a heal. Hopefully. Please bleed. They fucking resisted it for one damage. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for not killing him immediately. Got Battlefield Medicine just in case that lands. Luckily, we don't have to deal with it. This does one damage. It does zero. Oh, it looked like it did one. Could have sworn it did one. Fuck. Well, actually, that knockback is kind of nice. All right, Deceitful Shot. Leave that corpse there, I guess. I might even uh, Disorienting Blast again, actually. Although he's obviously... Ah, uh, God, that's not going to do anything. I got to keep him off that store, too. Okay, okay. This is real silly. Get rid of that corpse. Start these bleeds up. Please stop hitting me. Just stop hitting me. Just leave me alone. Stop doing it. That's okay. I mean, it's obviously terrible, but it's... It's also fine. These giants are a pain in the ass, man. Uh, there we go. All right. Can I really afford to self-heal here? Probably not. Although the bleeds are stacking up enough to maybe I can probably do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I really ought to do a guard dog, but whatever. Just hit everybody. Perfect. All right, I can get rid of that. I can absolutely get rid of that. 
I have an anti-venom too in case he acts first, and indeed he does. Son of a bitch. Well, you know what? I'm still going to do the battlefield medicine, so I'm just gonna let that roll, I guess. Save the anti-venom for now. There's the cure, and I'm not gonna be able to deal enough here, so there's that. And now he is gonna die next turn, so... Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, luckily he's like back to full health now. Alrighty. You are dead, but might as well do that. Self-heal. Reduce the stress. Off we go. Or hit that for fun. Mark yourself. Very wise choice. This size has no intrinsic merit. Unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Alright, well, now I'm at the, the point where, uh... Kind of just desperately hoping that we get to leave really soon. Really, really soon. And I'm gonna give him all the food I can. Really terrified about how he's doing. Let's just go this way and hope that it works out. Because we don't have any empty rooms anymore, and I'm pretty damn sure we only need, like, one more. Caustic solution. Really does nothing, huh? Okay. I feel like I was surprised about that the last time that happened, too. As I feel I should be, because what? Oh, boy. Another another spat of not funness is in is in store for us here. Let's see. The bleed resistances are still a little high. We are gonna try to take advantage of that, and the guard dog has to come out early and often here. No more dog biscuits. Very good crit! Every little bit's gonna help against these guys, and I am gonna go ahead and double stun to begin this one. I'd love to be able to get rid of this first grabber. And maybe let him shapeshift. And we've already kind of had to deal with this situation, so it does make the most sense, in my opinion, to do that. Love this repost right now. This is going to be beautiful. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. That's obviously a big hit, though. Okay, now. Open vein may be enough to take that guy out. Hopefully it is. Disorienting Blast? I don't think so. I don't think so. It doesn't make as much sense right now. I'm gonna go for this little bit of healing. Might make a difference. She's been wholly ineffective, unfortunately. Do I need to heal him? Maybe take a stun? If I stun the shape-shifting ectoplasm, does that really help as much as going for, like, some damage here? Also, do I want to rely on open vein? I don't think I do. I think I'd rather take the extra stacks of damage here. That takes care of him. What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Let's do that. I think the stack of bleed is enough. Not gonna hit you, so go for the crit maybe, I guess. Slime in the back is okay. They do a lot of damage, those ectoplasms. I kinda take them for granted. He's not being guarded anymore either, unfortunately. This is kind of working. Kind of working. That blights, I'm really worried. Okay, good resist. Switches back to a grabber, which I really need to take care of quick. He's in too much danger right now not to heal him, though, unfortunately. And kind of the same story there. You know what? Disorienting makes a lot of sense, actually. Let's do that. Move him to the front. I think I gotta kill this guy. Sadly, that does leave a corpse, actually. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's let the harvest kill this guy. Because it's almost guaranteed. It's gonna clear his corpse. He's gone too, actually. And now we just need a little more bleed on the battery. So this is pretty good. That sucks, though. No blight again, please. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, I got a self-heal and I got a battlefield medicine here. Stack of bleed does it, right? Or, no, I should Dirk Stab. Dirk Stab's better. All right, they're both gonna bleed out. He's really, really fucking weak right now. I want some battlefield medicine so bad. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, and now hopefully he'll get another self-heal too. Very nice. Six per is so scary. We got it. And that's it. Oh, goodness. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Clearly, we are getting the hell out of dodge now. Let me do this real fast. A little bit of extra stress. Okay, let's camp and get the fuck out. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Every rose is good for the stress reduction here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and prevent the ambush just to make damn sure we're going to be okay. We have some disease, don't we? So let's use rabies real fast. Or not rabies, but uh, the leeches. Get rid of that immunosuppression on our jester. Still got the rabies on him, which is fine by me. Uh, we'll encourage to get rid of that last bit of stress. Right? Somebody's got one. Yeah, there we go. Good shit. And do that for fun. Alrighty. Not a bad run at all. Let's get the hell out of here. Spirits are lifted. And purpose is made clear. 15,000 gold, 11 deeds. Good amount of collected treasure and the heirlooms. Not too shabby, baby. A legendary Bracer, too, is not bad at all. Some level 4 guys. Faded! Hell yes! The degeneracy of the Hamlet is nothing, I fear. When compared to the condition of surrounding acres. Max health and debuff resist on the next quest. We got our uh, stress relief, of course, from the idle heroes, too. Looking good. Although this doesn't really appear to have done as much as I thought it was going to do. Did that not work? That might not have worked. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, well. All right. Thanks for watching this episode of Pitch Black Dungeon. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. You know, like the video, too, if you want. All righty.